Hôm nay quý khán giả đang xem chương trình của đài truyền hình Việt Nam News, tin tức người Việt ở địa phương Arizona nói riêng và tin tức người Việt sinh sống ở đất nước Hoa Kỳ nói chung. Attend tonight at Day Spa in Prince William County is ready to battle a customer in court. Now, we first brought you this story back in November after the customer accused the spa of illegal activity. Well, that spa is now disputing the customer's claims. They disputed it at the time as well. Fox 5's Tisha Lewis reports. Escape Day Spa is fighting back after a customer accused them of human trafficking and commercial sex. The spa is suing that customer for $2 million dollars in a defamation suit. In an emotional interview, the spa's owner says she hopes customers will return. When this first happened back in November, I didn't want to come back to work. Um, but then I saw their loyalty to us and the... Okay. Jacqueline Wynn broke down in tears after she asked us to pause the interview. We don't know what they think of us. You know, do they think we're prostitutes? You know, what, what, we, we don't know. But my, our, um, you know, texts have been there, have been strong because they know we've done nothing wrong. Wynn is Escape Day Spa's owner. She's suing Kimberly Melman Orozco for reckless defamatory statements that damaged business at Escape Day Spa. Everything that she accused, of, uh, accused us of um, is false. Uh, the human trafficking, the commercial sex, all that, there's no evidence in that. Even through the holiday season was when we saw the biggest decline in sales and in services. So we'd like to gain back our um, customers' trust and their loyalty and just to get our name back. Back in November, Melman Orozco made a slew of accusations against the salon. A young man came in, I later spoke with him, he said he was a Marine, and he asked for a massage. And my ears perked up because I never knew that that location provided massages. And so I ended up doing some online research and I found nearly two years worth of reviews from men claiming to have received sexual services at my nail salon. Melman Orozco says she has not seen the lawsuit and could not comment on the allegations, but she did give us a general statement that you can read in its entirety on our website. This is a family's livelihood and for her to um, ruin our reputation in this community, you know, this is this is who we serve. The lawsuit was filed in Prince William County Circuit Court. Police say that they were unable to corroborate any of the allegations in the complaint and have received no further reports that the alleged activity was continuing. Tisha Lewis, Fox 5 Local News. Introducing Dental and Spa Nail Salon, your local internet marketing center. Brought to you by LIMCTV.com and MySpaSuccess.com. Text 213-293-5272.